Hello, and welcome to DRQ. We've made objects that have gone pretty fast, but distances in space are really large. So, how long would it take the fastest man-made object to get to the nearest galaxy? we need to figure out what the fastest man-made object is. The fastest car achieved a speed of over 1,000 km per hour. The fastest manned aircraft, over 3,000. The fastest rocket sled, over 10,000. The fastest unmanned aerial vehicle, over 21,000. The International Space Station has an average speed of over 27,000 km an hour as it orbits the Earth. Apollo 10 reached a speed of over 39,000 on its way back from the Moon. The New Horizon spacecraft, now on its way to Pluto, was launched at a speed of over 58,000 km per hour. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at about 61,000. The Galileo spacecraft reached a speed of over 173,000 as it entered the atmosphere of Jupiter. And the Helios 2 spacecraft maxed out at a speed of over 250,000 as it orbited the Sun. So, looks like Helios 2 is currently the fastest man-made object, achieving a speed of 252,792 kilometers an hour. Now we need to know how far the nearest galaxy is, but that depends on what you consider a galaxy. There are galaxy accretions, satellite galaxies, and major galaxies, so let's just calculate the answer for all of them, not including our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The nearest galaxy accretion is Canis Major Dwarf at a distance of 25,000 light years. The nearest satellite galaxy of the Milky Way is the Large Magellanic Cloud at a distance of 163,000 light years. The nearest major galaxy is Andromeda at a distance of 2.5 million light years. And the nearest satellite galaxy of Andromeda is NGC 185 at a distance of over 2 million light years. So, if we shot off Helios 2 at its maximum speed in the direction of these galaxies, calculating each one separately, it would take over 100 million years to get to Canis Major Dwarf, almost 700 million years to get to the Large Magellanic Cloud, almost 9 billion years to get to NGC 185, and almost 11 billion years to get to Andromeda, the nearest spiral galaxy. By comparison, it would only take about 18,000 years to get to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, and only two years to get to Neptune, the farthest planet from us in our solar system. Thank you for watching. Music was provided by Albedo. Click the link on the video or in the description to hear more. Please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments what random question you want me to do next.